Okay. So I gotta figure out what that means. Hi, I'm the Moss Man, and in today's video, I'll be building the Moss Man TV, Moss Man PC. Uh, so I've been, over the past few months, I've been putting away a bit of my money, buying like a part here, a part there, so that eventually, I can build a PC. So for all the computer nerds out there, I'm gonna go over um, what each part is. You may not need me to do that, you can just look for yourself. And for those of you who are going to be bored with me listing off parts, skip to this time code here to see me unboxing, or this one here to see me start uh, building the PC. So right here we got a B550A Pro. I kind of bought the mid-range thing that I could afford for like the, the best thing I could afford for the money that I was willing to spend. So, motherboard, B550A Pro. This is a one terabyte uh, M.2 NVMe uh, SSD. This is a, a, PCI, a PCIe Wi-Fi bit because my computer won't be able to attach to an ethernet cord. Some thermal paste. This is just what was in the store that I was in, in near. A couple of eight gigabyte RAM sticks, so it's gonna be 16 gigs of RAM. They were the, the cheapest option that fit what I was going for. Got a GTX 1650. I mean, I spent definitely too much on it, but you know, that's how, uh, that's how graphics cards are right now. This is my power supply. Half of it is the power supply, and the other half is a bundle of cables. It's not a huge amount, it's like a 550 watt, 80 plus gold modular power supply. And that's more than enough for my computer. Ryzen 5, I think it's 3600. And oh, actually, the uh, fan that's in here, I was reading reviews and the, the CPU cooler that comes with it is apparently not terrific. So, I was at the thrift store and I found this for I want to say seven bucks. It looks like it's an RGB fan, but what's important is all this in here. And you know, if it doesn't work, then oh well, it was seven bucks. Not that much down the drain. I don't even know what model this is. It's got a glass thing. There's vents on the top, the back. This is all open. There's a few fans. There's a couple fans in there already um, that just come with it. Nothing super special. I think a lot of these wires are kind of pre-organized. Oh, and I don't have it right now, but it's just gonna have more than just this. Probably, I was thinking of buying a couple terabyte hard drive or maybe another SSD at some point. Okay, unboxing. Let's go for the graphics card. I'm liking this. Let's grab this, this is important. I'll put a stack of papers kind of behind here. And we'll take off this uh, plastic here after I install it. This is gonna be cool looking. This, I mean, this is pretty much unboxed already. Okay. Looks like we got like a paste applicator or something. On top of just the tube. Yeah, it's not the prettiest looking. It's got a blue PCB. I hope that's underneath the other bits. Whole bag of cords. Let's see if I was right. It's an 80 plus gold 550 watt. Okay, I was correct. Okay. Got the CPU. Okay, pre-installed thermal paste there. But yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm probably not using this if I can avoid it. Now for the motherboard. Get some cords. Ooh. 
Ooh. All right. Lovely black PCB. Okay. So there's a triangle there. We got the gold triangle there. So that means we need to match them up. Now this is a kind of nerve wracking part. I guess, let's throw on some paste. Oh yeah, and I know a lot of you are gonna care about the the way in which I do this, what kind of method I use, like the P or the X or the line, or the, there's, there's a bunch of different, like, sp am I gonna spread it, all those things. Yeah, so it's an X. After removing the fan and putting it back a couple of times, which I had to do during this uh, process, it seems to uh, spread the paste well enough. Locked in. Now this cord goes to CPU fan one over here. Let's do the RAM. Take some RAM. Oh yeah, and I checked the slots that I need to use are two and four. What's next? Oh, let's install that, uh, that uh, M.2 drive. So let's then we'll stick this one in right set. Everything is in as far as I understand. Everything is in that needs to be in. Okay, now I'm gonna have to throw it in the case. In this section I'm just taking a look at the uh, cords that are coming out of the bottom there and I'm, I'm looking around and uh, figuring out where they're supposed to go. Sometimes there's labels on the actual motherboard itself, um, but it's best to look at the uh, manual for a diagram of the motherboard with each of the slots labeled, and often you'll find that uh, the cords are also labeled on, on them, which is uh, very nice. So what's happening here is I am installing the power supply unit. Don't know if this was the right order to do it in, but I have to move some cords out of the way to shove it um, back in there. Um, and the first, the first cord that I'm going to be uh, installing is the uh, CPU power. So I just have to run it uh, up through the top there and down at the bottom, just trying to connect it into the power supply. And then my big old, big old self is going to get in the way here while I try and push it into place on the actual board. Um, next is the 24 pin power supply for the motherboard. Um, this is pretty easy to identify. It's a big cord. Um, there's only one way to plug it in, plugging it into the PSU. Um, and I'm gonna get in the way again, <laughs> probably, to plug it in there. Um, last cord that I have here that I'm plugging in is the um, is the PCIe power. Uh, so that goes to your GPU um, or any other thing you have plugged into your PCIe slots that needs power. 
Um, this one has six slots in it, although there are 12 on the actual cable. So one of those was divided and kind of goes off to the side, unless your graphics card or whatever has. And also there's a cord here that I'm connecting to the case because everything attached to the case also needs power. Okay, so we got it turned on. Stuff is happening. We got this one of this uh, debugging light going on right now though. So I gotta figure out what that means. Okay, so I've uh, been trying to get this thing working for a bit now. There were a few issues. One, I put the, the uh, power switch thing in the wrong spot. Uh, but now that that's working, I'll show you where the computer's at. Let's try that again. This is also RGB technically. There's one other light though. This one right here in the debugging lights. It says VGA, that means there's a problem with the video something at some point. So that's either a problem with the graphics card or, well, it's in some way it's a problem with the graphics card, a connection or something. What I'm going to do now is grab the graphics card out of a different computer, throw it in this computer, and if it does work, then I'm going to work on just like installing all the drivers and stuff. So I can at least get the the computer like starting to work properly. And then I'll deal with the issue of that could be this graphics card um, at another point. So that obviously did not work. Um, yeah, uh, I've, I've seen this screen way too many times. Um, and again, the VGA light is still on. What I'm doing now is resetting the CMOS, which are, I don't know if I, yeah, that's how you say it, but I'll put it on screen, which basically like resets the uh, BIOS to factory default. Um, and the BIOS is what I'm updating here. And this um, is basically the set of instructions that the motherboard has before you do anything with it so it knows how to run an operating system how to set everything up and after i did all that nothing did not work quick status update it's like a month later i think something like that i've been going back and forth with msi that's the manufacturers of the uh, motherboard i was using previously um to try and troubleshoot the issues that I was having and why the computer wasn't working. Eventually they just told me to return it, but at that point it was too late to return it, so... We have a new motherboard, which I will also link in the description. As much as the first motherboard didn't work for me, I think that's just because I got a bad one or something happened in shipping. I do actually think it would be a good motherboard, but just in case there's some weird compatibility issue somewhere, we're trying a new one that should work with everything still. Um, and I'm not gonna show me pulling the computer apart and putting it back together again, because I've filmed that so many times now, so we're just gonna skip to see if it worked. It did not work, but uh, I went to a friend's house, I pulled it over, I was like, okay, I gotta test this. Um, I started it up, and wouldn't you know it, no way, not a chance. Keyboard. This is a temporary one. It's got a missing key and a 
I put that because that's okay. I will. Uh, I might do a keyboard video eventually. We'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm editing a video about the PC on the PC. That's pretty epic. <laughs> yeah, it works and it works very well. Um, I'm so glad I uh, I did this. To show how much better it is, uh, we're going to do a quick boot test and we're going to boot this PC and time it versus uh, booting the laptop that I've been using for a years now. So in these two tests, I don't only just boot up the computer. To show how slow that my laptop actually runs programs, I set it the basic task of fully opening Chrome. For both of them, I set the basic task of fully opening Chrome. Now, this isn't a comprehensive like uh, test. This is what it's like running every program. Now, trying to run a video editor with a computer this slow is, is a little bit unbearable. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, it's been quite a journey, a, a struggle, although I'm not sure it had to be. I spent a lot of time um, messing around, following instructions, and for it ultimately to be probably that the motherboard got screwed up. It's been a while. I started in the summer and it is now almost Christmas. Yeah, it's been a bit. Oh, I'd like to thank uh, Dylan and Elijah for providing all the music in this video. Oh, and we're getting very close to 500 subscribers, so if you feel like you have a question that you want me to answer or something that you want me to do in the uh, 500 subscriber special, uh, leave your questions and comments down below and make sure to put uh, like a hashtag Q&A or something on them so I know that it's for that video. Thanks for watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.